It, it was so special back in the mid-80s when he was setting up his bad tour. But I had the rare opportunity to watch him rehearse, to watch Michael Jackson in action with all of his singers, his dancers, his musicians. And to watch that for hours, you never had a doubt about who was the boss, who was the real genius there, the detail to the dancers, every little move, whether there was a guitar that was slightly out of tune. It was Michael who was in charge. Now, we didn't do an interview at that point, but a month later, he said, come to Kansas City, I want you to be with me as I launch this tour. 40,000 screaming fans in this arena. I was with Michael for the prayer uh, that they did beforehand. Well, then he grabbed my hand, we walked out on the stage together, and this was the very shy, very meek Michael Jackson, right. almost frail. Well, I mean, you shaking. talked about him shaking, yeah. Harry and Maggie, it was the strangest thing, and the moment we got out on stage, hand in hand, 40,000 people, he gently let my hand go, and he turned into the magician. That's remarkable. I mean, it, it was truly one of the most extraordinary things I have ever seen in my life. I mean, he, he just, he was whispering, you know, he doesn't look nervous there, but I could feel him shaking. And that is the Michael Jackson that everybody here is coming to remember. But the other Michael yes. Jackson, the quiet, the sad, the enigmatic Michael Jackson, why do you think it is that people are sort of putting that out of their mind, all the controversy and all the negativity? Because he was so great. Because I think we all have so many incredible memories after that concert. He invited me up to his suite in that hotel, and we had dinner together, and we spent two hours talking. And he gave me a gift at the end of the evening. We talked just like the three of us would sit and talk Friends. over dinner. Yeah. Just the two of us, his private chef at that time. You know, he always ate very healthy, but his private chef had prepared Indian food. And, you know, we talked about what he liked to do. But what Michael Jackson did and how he lived was so different and so yeah. isolated and lonely. But before we get to that, we want to take you backstage for an exclusive visit to Michael's dressing room, where we had special access to a Jackson pre-concert tradition. We thank you, Father, that the eyes of the world are upon us and that your grace is with us and your mercy is always extended toward us. This quiet moment has become an integral and important part of Michael Jackson's solo tour as his band and backup singers crowd into his dressing room just minutes before going on stage. And we look to you for tonight's show. We thank you, Father, for the safety of everyone involved. In Jesus' name we pray. A few moments later, Michael is on his way to the stage and a sold-out Kemper Arena where 17,000 of the faithful are waiting. It's been four years since Michael Jackson has set foot on an American stage, but the months of preparation and the weeks of rehearsal in Florida immediately prove one thing. Michael Jackson is back. <laughs> The huge crowd was treated to two hours of non-stop Michael Jackson. Songs, spins, jumps, costume changes, and most of all, dancing. He is, without a doubt, one of the premier entertainers of any generation. <laughs> Well, Mary, since the hundreds of reporters are going to be asking you this question anyway, I might as well be the first. Mary Hart holding hands with Michael Jackson. Now, you want to tell us something? Well, it's a rare privilege to have been back backstage with him in his dressing room, needless to say. I mean, I think you could see how special it was. And he grabbed my hand, and I said, Michael, are you nervous? When I get nervous, my hands are cold and clammy. He was fine. I was more nervous, John, than Michael. <laughs> it looked great. Thanks, Mary. <laughs>